Here are the top FMT news by its Thursday, March 28. Beer prices are about to go up. Since you reported that beers produced by Heineken Malaysia Berhad and Carlsberg Brewery Malaysia Berhad will increase by around 5% from April 1st. Petaling Jaya Coffee Shop Association Chairman Q Kong Meng said retailers received a notice three weeks ago informing them of the hike which was attributed to increasing operational and ingredient costs. A rights group is calling on the police to investigate those making provocative statements over the sale of socks bearing the word Allah. Lawyers for Liberty Director Zaid Malik said politicians such as AMNO Youth Leader Dr. Amos Saleh should be held accountable for exacerbating tensions as he persisted in calling for a boycott of KK Mart, even after the chain convenience store and the supplier of the socks have apologised and been charged in court. The government should introduce psychometric tests on smart people before putting them in positions of trust and responsibility. This is what former Law Minister Zaid Ibrahim said in a post on X today adding that the test should cover cognitive ability, attitudes, personality and self-esteem. The former MP said the test should also see if the candidates are susceptible to pressure from the top and have a history of rubbing shoulders with the rich and famous. Former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin has requested the Court of Appeal to reconsider its decision to overturn a High Court ruling that acquitted him of four abuse of power charges last month. In essence, he said the Court of Appeal decision was a nullity and an illegality, as it did not fall within the jurisdiction conferred by Section 50 Sub 1 of the Courts of Judicature Act 1964. The upcoming by-election for the Kuala Kubu-Baharu state seat will be a litmus test of Indian voters' support for the opposition. Former Penang DAP Deputy Chief P. Ramasamy said Indian voters might see no harm in supporting Perikatan Nasional if they felt the Pakatan Harapan-led government had betrayed the community. Ramasamy also said the opposition could win the DAP stronghold if he can woo half of the 18% of Indian voters in the constituency. That's all for now. For more updates, log on to FMT and follow us here.